Dog, if you wanted to test bone, the consequences are fatal. Ready to be strapped back with a me sort of clap back, cause I've been living me label ruthless. Here, instead of me putting it down, just for the love of money, yeah. For the love of the wasteland clear. For the love that brought me here, jumping piece to the double glock. Ready when the troll and I pop pop get pistol now. If a homie wanna run up, gun up, put him on the ground, make him lay down, stay down. Homie, this smooth with the thug shit. More murder to the fool that clone. Five homies looked out with the roughness. And it's watching to crap these bones. Bring on your stretches, your dilly departed. Your rest in the coffin for daring to cross this. Come and get that ass tossed by the boss, bitch. And taking no shots and the losses. What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm at like 1,600 subscribers, so thank you everybody that's been here. Thank you for all the new subscribers. It's been about a week and a half since I've even recorded a video. I got a new job and I've been training and doing all that in the real world, not the YouTube world. Maybe one day this will be my job, but until then, your boy gotta go get this bread. And does anybody know what season it is right now? It's Yeezy season and it's Spooky season. So we're gonna be making a video today to pay tribute to spooky season. You could be thinking, oh, what video, what are we gonna be reacting to today, Ernie? Are we gonna be reacting to Thriller? Or are we gonna be reacting to Monster Mash? Hell nah, fam, this a rap channel, you know what I'm saying? In honor of spooky season, let's just go ahead and get all the lights into spooky season mode. Yeah, key lights. I fucked the key light up, that's my bad. Spooky season AF right now up in this bitch. I bet you a comment or a like that when you read the title of this video, you didn't even know what the song was. So if you didn't know what the song was, be humble. Go ahead and drop that like already because you're like, damn, he's right. I didn't know what the song was, but it's all right because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to educate. You're about to get your PhD in hip hop. So this song, this is Elzai off of his 2016 album called Lead Poison. The whole album's fire, but this song caught me off guard. It's called She Sucks. I didn't realize it was a spooky season song when I first heard it. I thought it was about like, you know, an ex breakup, the chick sucks, whatever, obviously. But it's a spooky season song. So it's She Sucks is a double entendre. Think about that as we go through this here. Had to put a hat on, my hair was looking greasy as fuck in the viewfinder here, so I ain't about that life. Let's go ahead and get it, let's get it jumping, let's get it popping. Just to see if she's been good The last time we kicked it was nothing how I predicted I sat down with my ticket and thought just how wicked a vibe was Let me describe cause it was eerie It's a story, obviously He's talking about this story where, he, where he's texting this chick She says Parents ain't home, hop on over. He's like, say no more, fam. The instrumental, it's got that eerie spooky season tone to it with like that really high pitch. The dope thing about the song is that the storytelling is there, but the lyricism and creativity is still there even though he's telling this long-winded story. She made me catch the freight right off of Linwood. Instead of saying catch the train, he says catch the freight so that way he can rhyme nickel plate tight and freight right. Instead of saying train, he says freight like freight train. Dope. I text around 10 just to see if she been good. Like that 10 p.m. you up text. And she's like, hell yeah, I'm up because I don't sleep because I'm not of this world. Last time we kicked it, it was nothing like how I predicted. So now he's reminiscing on the last time that he had seen her. I sat down with my ticket and thought just how wicked a vibe was. Let me describe because it was eerie. She clearly doesn't like Jesus pieces on your jury because I felt something was forcing my hand and tucked the chain way deep inside of my rap floor and it fucked my brain up. Ooh. You see the lyricism? The shit was eerie because she clearly doesn't like Jesus pieces on your jewelry. Doesn't like Jesus pieces. Doesn't like nickel, silver. See where this is going already? There was something telling him that he needs to tuck that into, instead of saying polo, he says his Ralph Lauren and it fucked his brain up. So he got a little more syllables by saying Ralph Lauren instead of polo. So that way he can make the flow flow better. Unless you're a writer, or unless you go deep this deep into lyricism, you don't realize that those little switches are there in terms of the way he's saying things in a different way to keep the flow of the story going. Polo, Ralph Lauren, freight instead of train, nickel plate instead of just talking, instead of just saying pistol. 
she was telling him subconsciously or subliminally to tuck the chain in. That's why he felt like somebody was forcing him to do it. Otherwise, he would have just rocked it out. I wasn't right for a week. I still feel creeped out tonight, so to speak. And I just got off the stop for a block. And I was in horror shock when I heard the door unlocked before I knocked. She was in mm. dime. Double XL spread fine. If whiskey could kill, she made the headline in the fake mind. I sat down. She poured some red wine. I reached for a cup to sip. Did I drink blood or was I bleeding from my upper lip? Ooh. Yeah. You see the spooky season I'm talking about? This is not your grandma's spooky season. This isn't your dad and your mom's spooky season. This is our spooky season. And our spooky season comes with lyricism. He wasn't right for a week, but still, pussy run everything. He's like, nah, she ain't no vampire. I'm gonna go over there and smash anyway tonight. What's up? What's been good? Dudes are fucking idiots. The head down here is stronger than the head up here sometimes. He was in horror shot. He heard the door unlocked before he knocked. The door opened by itself, like spooky season type shit. Probably was creaky as fuck too. No WD-40 up in that house. She was a dime, double XL spread fine. Back in the day, double XL, I don't know if they still do, but they used to put like a fine chick, you know, like Playboy style. I sat down, she poured some red wine. I reached for a cup to sip. Did I just drink blood or was I bleeding from my upper lip? She's a vampire. What do you think she poured him? But still, he's gonna stay there anyway because he still thinks there's still a chance I'm gonna smash though. I'm just gonna overlook all this creepy shit. Spooky season. From my upper lip, I stood up to check my appearance in the mirror. Look behind me, didn't see her, but could totally hear her. She Ooh. asked me what I like to live for. I turned around, she was still on the couch, which made it clearer that she either practiced witchcraft or she might be. Mm -hmm. Before I could finish the thought, why did she jump up and bite me? I'm like. She jumped up and bit your ass because you didn't see the signs that she was a vampire the whole time. He stood up because he was like in shock from drinking that blood to check himself in the mirror. Look behind me, didn't see her, but could totally hear her because she doesn't have a reflection. You know how vampires do? You've seen Twilight, you've seen New Moon, and then she asked me, would you like to live forever? What's dope about that would you like to live forever line is that they put that demonic voice in the background. I turned around, she was still on the couch, which made it clear that she, that she either practiced witchcraft or might be a vampire is what he was thinking, but before he could finish his thought, she jumped up and bit him. The ultimate hickey on his neck. Before I could finish the thought, why did she jump up and bite me? I blacked out, woke up with dirt in my mouth, and then I felt insects crawl on my skin next. I've been vexed, but never like this. I tried to break free, didn't think it would take me a millisecond, yet I'm still affected. All right, so he blacked out. He tried to break free, didn't think it would take a millisecond, which means that he thought it was gonna take longer, but now he's got the superhuman strength and just broke free real quick. Standing over the hole, I was buried and covered in dirt like Mike in the video for the thriller mm. regular, I blood. Referencing another spooky season iconic jam thriller? Standing over the hole, I was buried and covered in dirt like Mike in the video from the thriller record? I know y'all need to download this for y'all's little Halloween parties, so that way you could be like, I brought a banger with me. Thanks, Ernest from YouTube. I smell blood. I saw some bombs urinating. Then I felt my teeth growing through my gums, irritating the hell out of me, but it couldn't match my hunger pain. So I sprung the drain, blood contained in a juggler vein. Mm. I couple. I left them both lying dead on the road, scuffle. Yo, Ooh. I can't control these urges. I feel sorry if any poor soul emerges. Yeah. End of the first act of this lyrical play that I'm taking you on. He smells blood now because he's a vampire and that's the only sense that matters at this point. He felt the teeth growing through his gums and turning into a vampire, irritating the hell out of him, but it couldn't match the hunger pains for the blood of the bums, so he sprung to drain the blood contained in their juggler veins. That rhyme scheme, sprung to drain the blood contained in their juggler vein. Never gonna hear that pattern ever again in any other song. That's not spooky season. He might actually feel sorry, but he can't control urges that are inside of him. We're in intermission right now on this lyrical Broadway that I'm taking you on. As he leaves the scene, he follows two teenagers. From behind, he attacks them. While he's feeding off a woman, sucking their blood, he senses someone in the distance. At least my... I hope y'all are seeing the visualizations. Let's re let's sum up that whole first verse. He slipped in the nickel plate into his pistol because he's from the D where it goes down. He texts homegirl, Ma, you up? What's good? It's been, it's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you, left you without a don't mean to step to, step to. All right, my bad. Text her, what's good? She said, rents ain't home. Jump on that train. Let's smash. And he jumps on the train because he's like, hell yeah, I'm about to get it in. 
But then he's sitting on the train like, fuck, last time she fucked my mind up by making me tuck in my Jesus piece into my shirt. But I'm gonna fuck anyway, so fuck it, let's go. He gets there, door opens automatically for him. Weird as shit, but I'm still smashing some vagina tonight, so I'm gonna walk in. He's fucked in the brain again, gets up to make sure he's all right in the mirror. She's talking right here. Do you wanna live forever? Doesn't see her, looks behind him. Bitch is still on the couch. How was she talking right in my ear? She might be a vamp. Oh, fuck. She is a vampire. Blacks out. We don't know what happened. Next thing you know, he's got shit right here. Craving that blood. Kills old couple. Kills some bums. He's leaving the scene from killing the old couple. He sees two teenagers. Follows them. Kills them. Feeding off them. Sucking their blood. Someone else comes up. And here we are, verse two. At least my senses are felling and hell is intense. Mm. I'm smelling the distance of somebody dwelling. I heard her pull up, stop, now she's excelling past. Her foot on the gas, yelling, I'm behind, trailing fast. The visuals that this dude is giving me in his lyrics. I can see this play unfolding. To the point where there's a music video for this song. And I've never even seen it because I don't want it to ruin what's going on in my brain of what I'm thinking that this would look like. His senses aren't failing, at least. His inhaling's intense, because he's turned into a fucking vampire or werewolf. Obviously, he's got a stronger sense of smell. I can smell in the distance of somebody dwelling. Heard him pull up, stop, now she's excelling fast. Now she's accelerating. He got in her car, she's like, oh shit, drives off. Her foot's on the gas, yelling. She's fucking screaming, trying to drive away. But he's a werewolf vampire now. So he's got hella speed, he's like running behind. Imagine the camera like you're turning around, driving, and then you see this fucking werewolf just like hauling ass at you, trying to kill you. Spooky season. So it's troubling to hear me dive through your back windshield, grabbing you while you driving, now your car's tumbling. Ooh. Over and over with my teeth in your neck. I knew she was dead before I checked, I stepped out of the wreck. Jet it downtown for seconds. I'm sure it's troubling to hear me dive through your back windshield, so he finally catches up. She breaks through the fucking back window. She loses control of the car. The shit's tumbling probably down a hill while he's biting her neck. And he knew she was dead before he stepped out of the wreck. He's never gonna die, so now he just stands up. All right, who, who's next, bitch? Jet it downtown for seconds. Thought I should go in sweet water. Not to eat all the wings, but to bring a complete slaughter. Mm. hollering. After I suck the life of this waitress holding a dollar in her hand. Now this body's on the floor, but I still want more. Yeah. The door got shot up by the police. It was four bullets bounced off me. Ah. Fuck, man. All right, so now he said, now he's going into town. The other shit must have happened in the suburbs. Now he's going downtown, going to Sweetwater, not for the wings that they serve there, but to bring a complete slaughter. So, women and men screaming and hollering. He's sucking the neck of a waitress who's literally getting her tit. He just comes up and bites her shit. Everybody's like, what the fuck? Everybody's running and gunning. Somebody called the police. Now he jumps outside, bodies all over the floor. He walks out the door, gets shot by four bullets. They bounce off of him. He catches the last one with his teeth. They're not silver bullets, obviously, or he'd be dead. They're just normal lead. God, man. I flow every single time in one of these videos. He's obviously not dead. They're silver bullets, not lead. I don't know. I can't freestyle. If I wrote it down, I'd probably come up with some bars. The bullets bounced off me. I caught the last one with my teeth. Then there was this brief silence from the police chief. Mm. I ran up on him so quick, he didn't know what hit him. Bodies dropped after I bit him. They begged for me to get him. Slowly mm. I saw the night turn in the day. It was concerning me. Usually I would need some herbs to burn in the jake. Instead, I had it inside this abandoned building. Cause I ran anytime the sunlight shed, I could be dead. Uh. So, lock your doors and don't come out after nightfall. You might crawl in your own blood if I bite y'all. Yeah. Police chief was like, damn, we fucked up. Slowly the night's turning into day, so dawn's coming up. We all know werewolves, vampires, can't be in daylight. This is normally when he would get some herbs to burn in a J. He hit up his dealer, he hit up the connect. Now he's heading into an abandoned building because he read that any time that sunlight shed, he could be dead. He must have seen Blade, and he's not a daywalker. So he's like, fuck that, we're getting out of here. So lock your doors and don't come out after nightfall. You might crawl in your own blood if I bite y'all. Spooky season is upon us, folks, and I just dropped you with this spooky season goodness you had never even heard of. And if you had heard of it, mad props. PewDiePie bro fist to you for hearing this song before, but if you haven't, you're welcome. Download the hoe on Spotify, download it on Apple Music, and while you're at it, download this whole album, because the whole album is fire. The moral of the story is bitches be crazy. If you hit them with the you up text, 
and they fucked you over before, you had a bad vibe from it. Ladies too, if you text a dude who gave you a bad vibe, or if a dude, you text a chick who gave you a bad vibe, and it's spooky season like it is now, you might wanna wait until Thanksgiving to, you know, go over because you might be dead. I'm doing you a favor. This is a PSA to keep you alive in these trying times. Hope y'all like that spooky season rendition of my reactions. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you like the breakdown. Subscribe if you haven't before and comment and share with other people. Anything to get the channel growing, I would greatly appreciate. So if you could do that, that'd be great. If you can't do it, love anyway. Thanks for getting this far. If you got this far, stay tuned for the next video. Stay good. Thanks for your time. Peace.